Virgin. Uh, he, yeah, he was down here during uh, quite a few years, actually. He was uh, kind of stuck here in Broward County. He had a couple DUIs. Everyone said he had a drinking and driving problem. They were only half right. The drinking he had down pat. That wasn't his problem. It was just behind the wheel afterwards. So that's where he ran into some problems. So we got this little driller for his table. He couldn't leave Broward County for quite a while. And he was stuck down here. As soon as he was able to leave, he gave that house away to his sister. You see the house over there on the corner on your left? This guy, they made a cure for uh, insomnia. This guy brought you C-SPAN. He grabs the Congress network, you know, where you're watching guys just doing nothing all day. They're sitting there talking to each other. Yeah, if I throw that on, you're in about night, we'll have an hour gone. Gone, out of the mouth, gone. Coming around the corner, going to be past the Middle River, guys. The Middle River divides the property values. We're going to be leaving what we call Millionaire Row, where we know a lot more about these houses. Now we're going to head into what we call Millionaire Skid Row. Well, we don't know too much about these, what we call the working class millionaires. And uh, honestly, quite frankly, so we don't know too much about them, they don't make enough money. I don't know what these guys do. These houses are 2 to 10 million bucks. <laughs> I have no idea about those guys. These folks on this end spend about 12 to 16 million dollars. For their past Las Solas, they go up to about 20 million bucks. Crazy properties down here. Most of the houses on your left side, the more expensive homes, are second and third and fourth homes for these guys. We do wonder if they forget about the houses because the owners, we never see them. The kids, however, the kids, they never forget about these houses. They're the ones down here using them. They party out. And this is the Middle River off to your left. Flows uh, fresh water from the Everglades. It's quite a few miles away though. And you can't really take a private boat because of all the fixed bridges they have that don't open. Because you run into a problem where your boat really just can't go any further up. So it does flow a little bit of fresh water through here. They call this area brackish from all the salt and fresh water mixing. However, it's mostly <coughs> salt water. We have a lot of stuff, really millions of gallons in uh, these coming every day with the ocean current. It's right for Everglades that really nothing fresh, pure fresh could survive at all. You can find a lot of brackish fish and a lot of salt.
Kita ke-15.
Sir, you gotta take this house down. That's when Joe put his beer down for a minute, went inside and grabbed the paperwork. It was a big stalemate because the house should have never been built in the first place. However, it doesn't impede the main Away, but just for safety. They don't want everyone building these massive houses. Maybe they'll even take six of them. Or they'll just go to the house. They'll take a man made by the engine for engineers. So they maintain this waterway. They, however, do not redo these seawalls. These seawalls are for the private owners of uh, the place or, you know, repair. If it is behind your private home, you are, as a homeowner, liable to repair it and raise it to avoid the uh, flooding. It used to be pretty expensive.
so far. However, you haven't seen my house yet. My house is just on the left side of this greenhouse next to that dive flag.